Hey Bob, this is my Hemi. Um, I'm going to show you where the serial numbers are on your car. Um, if you see here, this is the core radiator support. Right down in here, somewhere around here, you're going to see the, the VIN stamps. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but they're just right here. I can feel them, and you can kind of make out a little bit. But that's the VIN number to this car. It's stamped in here. Um, this has the VIN number. That way you know this is the original core radiator support, and it's never been wrecked because it has the original VIN stamp on it. And, of course, um, your data tag, just like this, and the other area where you're going to find it, and it's right here. So what you do is you open up the trunk. <laughs> this is the part number for the fender, but if you just go under here like this and just move up this way, I can feel the stamp of the VIN numbers down here, and I've already checked it with a flashlight underneath. These are the VIN numbers in my car, so if you feel under here, and then also, um, I'm not sure if Keith has this pulled apart, but you can pull this up and see the stamps here, but you can feel them underneath, and you can read them um, with a flashlight. So that tells you that it's all, all numbers match, engine and transmission, and to the body. Um, when they're not numbers match, that's what they call a rebody at auction, and they only go for a fraction, because they're not a real car. But uh, that's why when all the body codes line up to the engine and transmission codes, you have a all-numbers-match car, and that's an investment vehicle right there. All right, thank you.